Do apologize if I'm shinier today than usual. Just see it as a glow. As you probably don't know, cause why would you? I'm in Australia. Shock horror. I've been in Australia nearly 18 months now. No, nearly 19 months. And I keep bending down because I want to show you what I'm doing, even though you already know what I'm doing because you read the title. Because you're smart. I am not a big sweet and chocolate person, as in I won't go and buy them because I know if I buy them, I will demolish them in a very disgustingly quick time. I kind of resist it. However, I realized I haven't tried the majority of Australian sweets and chocolates. Now, just an FYI, Australia call sweets lollies. I know, many things annoy me in Australia. Lollies, one of them. Can't get on board with that. I went down to my local IGA because we only have a fair sized IGA because we're in a tiny little town and we picked up some Australian delights and we are going to try them. This is my breakfast, so obviously, what goes well with chocolate and breakfast? Quaffy. Excuse me. Hat. Alrighty then. The first one I'm going to try is Violet Crumble and it kind of broke in the bag on the way. So we're going to give this a go. It's the way it shatters that matters. Really? All right. Kind of like a crunchy, but not as good as a crunchy, because they do sell country. They do sell crunchies here, and it's very similar, but it's not very honeycomby. Um, I just get a shot of the inside. It's I don't know. It's much creamier, not as you know, but it's still crunchy. Hmm. Okay. So far, so good. Hmm. I'm gonna have lots of half-eaten bars. You may have to finish them all. Terrible times. Cleanse the palate. I hate it when you eat something sweet and you take sugar in your tea or coffee. Uh, suddenly, I can't taste the sugar anymore. Holy hell, I'm melting. What's next? Because if I'm melting, that means something else is melting too. We better get on with this. Okay, so next one I'm gonna try is Jaffa's, and I've heard so much about these. I think these are very, very Australian, and I can only get a big bag. And it took me forever to find them because you know when you go into the section they have all the sweeties, sorry, lollies, in little bags like this, it's like walls. You know. Okay. They seem to be these kind of red thingies. So um, chocolate orange and a crispy shell. Now I should like these. Let us go. Good God, Jaffers, where have you been all my life? Why have one when you can have six? Mmm, they're really good. Very orangey. I can't believe I am now less than a hundred days away from leaving Australia. And I've only just discovered these. Oh, amazing. We can't reseal really them. Yes, you can. With the sticker of love. How you been? All right, next. I realized I didn't buy any candy sweet lollies. I just brought chocolate for mine. Okay, next one I'm gonna try is White Knight. And I actually Googled this whilst I was in the store to see if this was an Australian chocolate. Cause I wanted to make sure everything I got was kind of like, you know, originally Australian and you couldn't find it anywhere else. Um, so I did and Google told me very nicely and promptly that it is. An Aussie thing. All right, it's meant to be minty. It's minty. I'm chewy. The tagline, mighty mint chew. Well, you kind of got it down in that tagline. Well done. Not bad. Hmm. It sticks to your mouth a little. Um. I would buy this again. I, I like this. It's very... I can't describe it without using the words minty or chewy. Because it's minty and chewy and chocolatey. All right, so far, I'm super impressed with all this chocolate. Now, you see, I normally like chocolate. What have we got next? Hello. Ooh! I had to 
buy one of these. It is a caramello. Is it? Yes, caramello koala. Now, we have these in England. They have Freddos over here. I didn't want to buy one of those. And these are called Taz Bars. Do you remember Taz Bars? Did you have a tuck shop at school back in the 90s where these were 10 pence each? They weren't this big. To be fair, size comparison with my face, this is a mighty, mighty, mighty koala. However, it is expensive at like $1.20, but it's bigger. Now, here's my problem. If this tastes exactly the same as a Taz, because Taz has caramel in it, and I have a feeling it will, Australia, why didn't you keep it as a Taz bar? Due to Tasmanian devils being rather bloody Australian as they are, but no, no, no. You're trying to be different. Hello. I'm going to bite his face off. Mmm. Mmm. So sick now. It tastes exactly the same as the Taz bar. And unlike the other chocolates, I may have to finish this one. Like, after I finish filming. That's terrible. Next. I'm gonna save that one for last, because that's a classic. Okay, second from last, we have Cherry Array. Now, I do believe that this is very, very Australian. Okay, I like cherries. Dark ganache. I love that word, ganache. You need to get your lip into it, ganache. Um, I don't like dark chocolate, so this could be a fail. It's very, I kind of taste the cherry, yes. It tastes, the consistency is very coconutty. Ganache, but it tastes like you're crunching coconut, like, oh, lip sweat. So attractive. It's like that, you know, like you eat a bounty and it's like, but coming in finally, cause the Tim Tam. There's a reason I poured a coffee for this one. The last time I had a Tim Tam, it was a long time ago now. And I'll tell you right now, Tim Tams, for the English folk out there, are just penguin bars, but without the joke. <clears throat> and I will show you, and you shall see. Ugh. Usu. However, Tim Tams comes in so many different like flavors and you can have fillings and double coated and white chocolate. So we've gone for the original and I am gonna attempt again to do a Tim Tam Slam. Now, Ali, beautiful name I know, girl I met in Melbourne when I first arrived in Australia back in 2013, wow, taught me how to do a Tim Tam Slam. And she felt it almost very necessary that I should know this. Like, it should be on the immigration test to get into Australia. Miss Ali, please perform a Tim Tam Slam. Okay, so I'm gonna do a Tim Tam Slam. These are very delicious, just to let you know, and so melty -elty. Um, You bite a corner off there, and a corner off there. Okay, so we're gonna be biting. Oh, it's so melty. Oh no, it's not gonna work. I know. Okay. Probably take smaller bites. Now, the moment you do this, you kind of have to shove it in your mouth immediately after. It sounded terribly wrong. Okay, so you get your coffee and you kind of dunk the bottom section in and suck through the top section. <clears throat> Hooray! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So good! Yeah. And that. Nom. Did I miss a bit? Well, I feel relatively sick now, but yay! I get to try lots of different Aussie things. Kind of wish I picked more sweet items, but I had no one there to guide me. I didn't have an Aussie there, and I didn't want to just walk up to people randomly in the supermarket and be like, excuse me, is this Australian? I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a big a thumbs up, and comment below and tell me what your favorite Australian chocolatey sweetie lolly candies are. Tell me, because I want to try more now, because I was actually really, really impressed with all of these. Don't forget, if you'd like to, you can subscribe, click the button down below, get regular updates on all my travels, and get some advice as well, and some very weird, crazy, wonderful times like this, where I just sit in front of you and eat a ridiculous amount of chocolate for breakfast. So don't forget, there's also Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Psycho Traveler, but the links are in the down bar below, and I will see you soon. Off to Mount now. Bye!